items, grease, manure, and plates. These are four unexpected tools in the fight against climate change. And it all has to do with what we eat and what goes to waste. Most people don't realize how often they waste food and the negative impacts. Food waste breaks down into methane gas. Methane is the second most abundant anthropogenic greenhouse gas after carbon dioxide, accounting for about 20% of global emissions. Methane is 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide at trapping the heat in the atmosphere. And that gas is a big problem for our world. Greenhouse gas emissions blanket the earth, it traps the sun's heat. This leads to climate change. The world is now warming faster than at any point in recorded history. John Barton is the operations supervisor for Michigan State University's composting program, one of many innovators that are working on reducing and managing food waste. If we don't manage that, that food waste, it just goes to the landfill and then you know, anaerobically degrades and creates methane gas. Michigan's two largest universities have joined in on a mission to help reduce food waste. Keith Soster, the director of student engagement for Michigan Dining, where they serve 24,000 meals a day. Realizing that students took more than they could eat, this caused more food to be thrown away. After they realized this, Soster's team made two big changes. The first, they served food on smaller plates and eliminated trays. We noticed that we didn't have to produce as much food because people weren't taking as much food because they didn't have a tray to put all this food on. The University of Michigan's officials say that they've been able to divert 34% of waste away from landfill and repurpose it thanks to these changes. 70 miles away, Researchers at Michigan State University are getting a little dirtier in their approach to address food waste. Dr. Dana Kirk is an assistant professor in biosystem and agricultural engineering at Michigan State University. He runs this site which houses this 350,000 gallon steel tank full of food waste, cow manure, and restaurant grease. It's called an anaerobic digester. Anaerobic just with means without oxygen. The anaerobic digester takes uh, manure and food waste from campus and food waste from the southern part of Michigan and we biologically convert it into natural gas or biogas that we then use to make electricity. And we're producing about 350 kilowatts of electricity continuously. So that's enough for roughly 200, 225 houses. There's one slithering secret that makes this process unique. And this is where we keep the star of the show, the worms. Back at Michigan State University, the school's organic waste is mixed with the leaves and other organic materials. Then, microbes are fed to the worms. These worms are working overtime to save the planet by creating verma compost. Verma means worms. Extra food waste from around the school is added to other organic materials like leaves, which are broken down by microbes. Then the microbes are fed to the worms. So what the worms poop out is some of the best microbes for your plants. The, you know, the protozoa, the fungi, the bacteria and stuff just create a living soil environment that your plant's vitality will be better. It can absorb and retain moisture better than other composts. That vermicompost is just an amazing inoculant almost for your soil to make it become living again. So the worms, again, eat 230,000 pounds a year of food waste. I did 26,000 pounds of food waste last month. And when the worms had their fill, the fertilizer is sent to greenhouses on campus. The leftover soil is then bagged up and sent to MSU stores to sell on campus. At both schools, food doesn't travel very far to get to the dining halls either. Right outside, where the food is prepared, it's also grown. The idea is to bring the entire food process full circle, turning food into something new. This is where we meet Jory Beadle, who runs the greenhouse. She is the assistant program director of the Residential Initiative on the Study of the Environment at Michigan State University. A lot of times our food system is pretty linear. So you start with an apple, you eat the apple, you dump the apple core in the garbage can. What we're hoping to kind of uh, model in this space is you eat the apple, you compost the apple, the compost goes back to the apple tree and we grow that apple. From the waste at home, to the worms in the ground, to the stinkiest of places, to the tiniest of seed. Cutting food waste is a delicious way of saving and protecting the planet.